Good morning, folks. First on the list today is a satellite anomaly faintly entering from the left and heading right. I don't recognize this anomaly on Stereo A Core 2, but there are some things we can tell. First, Earth is off to the left, so this is not coming at us. It's not visible via the naked eye or binoculars. It's not visible on the other stereo, Stereo B, or looking from Earth with Soho, so the massive size is likely just a perception effect of something traveling right in front of the satellite's camera. My best guess is that it's a tiny comet, but we won't have to wait long as you can see the difference between pre-processed images, which are always blurry, and the processed ones that come later. We've just got another day or two to wait for these images in full. Cracks visible near the Pine Island Glacier, except they aren't visible with our eyes. These are actually thermal views from the Astrosat, an island of ice. Folks, this is a great article detailing scientific evidence for what most already know. There was once a good bit of water on Mars, and it fell like snow. Folks, I hesitate to definitively report findings saying that the new oldest calendar ever found is a 10,000-year-old lunar calendar from Scotland. I hesitate because just two weeks ago that same team claimed such a thing when they found one 8,000 years old near the same place. Just keep going, guys. 50,000 liters of crude spilled in Thailand, and I have significant concerns also regarding the 35,000 liters of chemicals used to contain it. We have flash flooding in China and India. It dwarfs the events seen in the Western world. Hundreds die when these take place. Dorian Remnant's still headed for the Caribbean, but she has weakened to nearly nothing. Could be a rain event only. Meanwhile, we also expect a bit of weakening to Flossie as she heads for Hawaii, but she will still be a powerful cell when she hits early next week. Not many major warnings in the southwest Pacific. Meanwhile, this heat I've described in Europe is getting much, much worse. The counterclockwise driving low found some atmospheric quicksand and has dragged warm air north along the leading east edge for days on end. Just refuses to move, and even the storms at the convergence are barely denting the heat. In the U.S., the same low in the northeast is slightly weaker. Storms and rain leading this convergence line will be moderate only. Meanwhile, out west, just north of the border, we have another low-gaining influence, able to stir some storms in western Canada. But the power low is now near the exceptional drought zone, putting major convergence to the wind and set to pour its heart out tonight. I expect major flash flooding across these areas. Shifting now to space weather, took a gamma ray burst last night from way down south in the sky, the Indus constellation. Solar wind appearing calm with speed continuing to drop from the coronal hole impact, density relatively stable with both metrics confirmed by SOHO. Flaring is still low, but catching some luck this AM with smaller flares likely emanating from the left trailing sunspots down south. Got major development there with both spots now capable of flaring just as they endeavor to leave the earth facing disk. Also have some development to the newcomers as well, and some cresting the limb now. Earth's magnetic connectivity continues to shift back towards Earth. We are now split 5 and 5, half connected to the previous corona hole and half connected to the one that's at the western limb as we speak. Coming to Gong to check in on our incoming corona hole in green. Umbral opening is transequatorial, but it's tough to tell if the dark corona hole actually makes its way south or it's sticking to the northern part of the opening. That'll be a big factor in the coming quake watch since our last sizable earth-facing coronal hole, we've taken only two minor six-pointers, both while a smaller coronal hole faced Earth on the southern hemisphere. Updates to come. We recorded new fly on the wall sessions yesterday, including 30 minutes discussing the earth-facing quiet. Premium content available July 31st. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.